did they live here? How did they manage with all the all the harshness of this particular environment? One of the one of the best tricks is rabbit hunting. Now this is a stick from a sandpaper raisin. They grow long and straight, as you can see all the way down here. <coughs> now they were harvested and then they were joined together with bits of bark twine. And then at the end of one of these bark twines was placed a fork stick. Now obviously not from a guari bush, which is what I'm going to be doing here. Something a little bit more robust. But this guari stick is going to let me do what I want to show you. <coughs> Excuse me. So at the end you place a fork stick. Right. So basically what it would look like is this long stick here and there would be your forked stick attached with a piece of bark. And the theory is that you then probe holes. In this area the rabbits don't have holes but have scrapes. But in very, very common around these areas are rock hyrax and spring hair. And this definitely works for them. So you probe their little with a forked stick like this, and you need a bit of body to do this, and unfortunately the only hair I've got on the eyes of my wrists, I'm not going to rip my shirt off for you. What I am going to do is show you the theory behind this. You then twirl it, and until it catches, and then you pull the rabbit out of the hole using the forked stick. Twist it, catches in the hair and then you pull the rabbit out of the hole or you pull the rock hyrax out of the hole using the stick as you can see now it didn't really catch in my hair there probably I could do it on my arm here a little bit I've made my sticks too big see there then you pull the rabbit out of the hole he comes with following the stick and then dinner is caught.